guys, I know every single time I open up a video I say Today is a very exciting day, today is a very exciting video, we're gonna be watching a really exciting movie. But today is actually a very exciting day because it's turning fall, we know what that means. Girl who's scared of everything is making an official comeback and she's here to stay for a bit. And today we're going to be watching another A24 movie and this one is actually a current release. Today we're going to be watching Talk To Me. This is becoming one of the most successful A24 movies to this day. It is considered one of the scariest movies of the year and what better way to kick off my A24 series on this channel than a new release by A24 talk to me. If you guys watched my last video, you know that I'm starting a new series, not The Girl Who's Scared of Everything. The Girl Who's Scared of Everything has been a long running series on my channel. I'm going to be doing a new series watching A24 movies because A24 is actually one of the few production companies that has met the demands of the writers and actors that are on strike. So promoting their movies is not only okay, it's actually welcomed. It's actually praised upon because I want to do what I can. I am not doing much by doing this. I'm not saying that I am uh, contributing a whole bunch, but to continue to do my job and also be able to show to production companies that if you do give your writers and actors and everybody that is involved within the movie making scene fair wages, then we are going to support you. So A24 meeting the demands of and coming to an agreement with um, the writers and actors. Of course, a thousand percent we're gonna support and we're gonna actually talk about movies that are paying their employees livable wages. This is very important and I really want to double down and say how important this is. I know a lot of people just think it's like, oh, all these high A-list celebrities are asking for more money when it is like much bigger than that. It is about the crew, the, the behind the scenes people, the writers, all of them, and even lower tier actors getting fair payment for the jobs that they do. Not only is it important for movies, and you might think that like movies are like a very small part of culture and they're not benefiting society. I have many thoughts about that, but I won't get into that. The writers and actors strike is actually making movements throughout all unions all across um, the economy. This is, a, this is becoming a very big point within history that a lot of companies are going on strike. You saw with New York Fashion Week, there was um, a bunch of people within the fashion industry going on strike. We have airlines and pilots going on strikes. Like this is a very big deal, not just for movies. It's for all employees everywhere that are being taken advantage of by their employers and by these massive corporations that are hoarding all the money that they make and not giving it and not paying their, their employees that are doing the day-to-day -day work fair livable wages for where they live. So with that being said, do your own research on the strike. I'm not the person to give you all the information on it. Uh, there's so much information out there. I will leave links in the description box down below. So today we're going to watch and talk to me. The girls who's scared of everything is going to be taking on another battle. And without further ado, let's begin. I'll be honest, it's been a fair bit of time since I've watched a movie that's like really scared me on this channel. I think like we've seen my tolerance for horror movies grow over time. It's actually become one of my like most loved upon genres. My wall is covered in horror movies. This one actually has me a little scared. This one does have me a little bit scared. The way people were speaking about it definitely got me more scared than I anticipated. I think I'm gonna revert back to my old self. <laughs> And it's Australian. It's Australian. It's created by two Australian uh, dudes. I think they're brothers, maybe. No, I think they're friends. They're besties. Besties can be brothers. And they're YouTubers, actually. They were YouTubers prior to this, and then they made this movie, and they're my inspiration for life, and I hope to be them one day. There's nothing more inspiring to me than when people who make like fuck shit YouTube videos um, become movie directors. What do you find, Sam? Like at least turn the flash off. <gasps> oh 
No way. Oh my God. The like last couple that like just decided to get up. <gasps> Why did he do that? Like, I mean, like the demon was with him, obviously. <laughs> I mean, of course, like, the demon was within him, but, like, oh, my God, like, it's a first, it's, uh, give me a second. It's, like, give me a second. It's, like, horror movies always do that. It's, like, give me, like, one fucking second to breathe before you, like, hit me with someone stabbing themselves in the forehead. I don't know. Don't smoke it. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Why did I sound exactly like him? Don't tell me what to do. What? What is that? What is that? It's a girl from Hereditary. Stop, that was insensitive. Oh. It's a it's a cow. What do we do? That's so on theme. Yo. I can't, I don't wanna watch this. I don't wanna watch a kangaroo get, even though kangaroos are like really mean, like I don't want to see them get murdered. Mia, yeah, no, we can't leave it like this. Another car will come. Mia, it's crying. Fine, then you go. You go murder it. If it's if if it's crying, then you do it. Sorry, I'm with me on this one. I wouldn't be able to do it. Granted, like I'm not gonna swerve in the middle of the road if there's an animal there because that is like very very dangerous. Like, but like if I have a choice, I'm not. I don't want to do it. Like I just don't want to be the one, and that's really selfish of me. But like, sometimes you have to be. She's fine. No, she's not fine. She irritates the fuck out of me. She's literally done nothing to you. She's so clingy, man. It's fucking depressing. Oh, now she's flirting with your boy. Her friend's Bailey. I am gonna say it is a bit weird that she keeps calling her current boyfriend her ex-boyfriend and like, Hi, ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Pointing that out. I feel like that's kind of weird. Ooh, I feel like that'd be, that would make me weird. I'd be like, that's literally like not chill. No, no, you always go first. It's my house. It's my fucking hand. It's my hand. Oh my god, jealous. Haley's tricked everyone. All right, somebody time it. As soon as she lets it in, it cannot go for more than 90 seconds. Am I might clear? What happens after 90 seconds? They don't want to stay. So the rules of the game, you have to let them in, but no longer than 90 seconds. And apparently if you let them in for longer, then it stays with you forever. Talk to me. That scared me. Got it. Okay, so you say when you say let me in, the person that she sees becomes her. No way. Absolutely not. She's kind of cute. What am I supposed to say to that? What do you want me to say to that? That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, that was the best one yet. So this scene sets up the entire movie about what this crucial part of the movie is. Okay. Okay. That scene sets it all up. Hand is the Ouija board of the movie. Talk to the hand, it lets you in. The person you see, if you say, let me in, you become them. Whoever is possessed can see what's going on, okay? And if you can only go 90 seconds or if it goes past 90 seconds, then it is with you forever. Okay, when they were saying Mia's was the best one yet, usually that means that within any paranormal movie you watch, souls that are weaker or sadder more lonely tend to be easier to possess. And that's what we have. She's telling the little boy there's something behind him and that she wants him. So we're dealing with a classic Ouija board storytelling at first. And I think that's about to change. My thoughts about that scene is that I thought it was actually like pretty, like if I was in a theater, I'd be like super spooked. I'm really wondering what the girl in pink's deal is like she seems to be like okay at some points and then she seems to be very annoyed at sometimes like she was like mia you're like faking it like stop no i'm freaking out seriously mia shut up no someone was sitting there i swear to fuck 
And then she's like, I'll prove it. And then she's like, stop. It's like, pick a side. Oh my God. Is he going to be the one that's possessed? That fucking sucks. Oh, cause the little brother in the beginning is all, he also represents the little brother. I felt like I was glowing. I could hear and see and feel everything. That's a very interesting take on possession storylines because usually they like a lot of the times a person being possessed doesn't have a lot of dialogue of how it feels. And usually when they describe how it feels, it's usually horrible. I was trapped. I was dark. Blah, blah, blah. This is the like first time I've ever watched something with paranormal activity that it's incredible. they actually like being possessed. No, actually, no. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. That's gross. <laughs> Just hold the hand, say talk to me, okay. and ask the spirit your fucking questions, right? Okay, champ. Oh no, this poor dog. I already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I love that actually though. I love it that we're getting like the point of view like this. That's so much better. I love it. <sighs> okay. I actually fucking love this. I love it that we're just getting their perspective. Oh, yay. <laughs> like they think it's like hilarious. I don't know how you think this is like so funny. I can't. It's freaking me out. Um, what was that? He hates it when you touch him. You make him soft. Oh my God. No, literally, the spirit is a fucking mean girl. What the fuck? Ew. No, 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 don't do that. No. No. Ew. 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 Oh my God, guys. What are you making me watch? Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty heavy, eh? Oh, pause. How are all of them so okay with what they just witnessed? Like, it's not, it's not like, oh, it's funny. They like fell down while they were like hypnotized or they like were walking around like a chicken. Like that was actually like very disturbing. And the fact that they think it's very funny is like not. Like, I've honestly just been sitting here in silence for a little bit because I feel weird and I don't want to continue watching this movie. And this is only like 30 minutes in and I feel like it's only going to get scarier and I don't want to. Ew. This is the same way. It's like there's a lot of parts of like Hereditary and Midsummer. And I know those are like complete, by a completely different director, but there's a lot of parts in Midsummer and Hereditary that are like scary but they're not like jump scares. They're like deeply disturbing and unsettling. And that scene like did that to me. Like it wasn't even the fact that he was possessed. It was like the entire like reaction around them, which is I think is like very much giving like that's the point. And that's usually a common theme throughout horror is the ghosts and killers aren't scary. The teenager's cruelty is. I don't want to continue it if that's like the only like the first like this is like end of first act it's like what you want me to continue it can I have a go <laughs> sorry after that <laughs> just get your thought dog out and no cameras <sighs> this fucking song though So it's like a high that they get off of it. That's the whole point is that it's a high that they get from doing it. This is crazy, but that was honestly one of the like most lit montages I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's insane that they get like a high off of it. I'm on both of your sides. Obviously not. Riley. 60 seconds, please. What about 50? Okay, 50. Seconds? Yeah, just get over it. Sign the phone, baby. Let's go. Hey, 
<laughs> but like to them, it's like, what's the harm? Because they haven't seen any actual effects of it that it's going to harm them. Like they, they like, they hand this shit out like it's drugs to people. Talk to me. It's already with him, babes. It's already been with him. <laughs> like the like pure joy that they're like looking at him with is so. Ugh, it like makes me like upset. I miss you so, so much, me. <gasps> Mama. Mom. <gasps> I love you both, me. Oh my god, he's gonna go fucking over 90 seconds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! 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 Oh my Fuck you. You can't be serious. Don't do this to me. So the truth of the matter is, is that if her mom didn't die, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. <gasps> she took it. No way. You're the one that allowed him to do it for 50 seconds and then that happened and you still took the hand? That's actually insane. That's insane. That's like psychotic behavior if I've ever seen it. The last thing you witnessed of the hand was what happened to him and you took it. You were like, let me take that actually. Like actually let me like- Can I get that actually to go please? Like, what's wrong? What's going on? You okay? I don't think like anyone here is okay. <laughs> and he drove her home. You drove her home. Ladies, what are you doing if your man who participated in the possession trend and won't have sex with you drives another girl home? What are we doing about that? Murder? I can't go home. I know something's up. You could stay at mine. I already know. They've already had sex, and like then he like said that he's Christian and he doesn't want to have sex until marriage with his new girlfriend, and that's why she has such a weird attachment to him is because they had hooked up. I already know. I don't actually. That was a complete guess. I could know everything about us. Maybe. Mom was that because she was trying to reach out. I'm sorry, but if my mom tries to reach out through a hand like that, I just don't think I should be talking to her. My mom's alive and my mom like can call me. I don't know why I was thinking that she would <laughs> try to talk to me through a hand. L listen, if my mom doesn't pick up the phone and call me and tries to talk to me through a possessed hand, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> Such a loser. Like, stop. Remember when we held hands? Yeah. That is too intimate. Yeah, you paid me out because your hands were bigger than mine. And they probably still are. No way. No! No! Not the hand comparing! That, she, that, oh my god, you're trying to steal your best friend's man. That's so sinister. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm sick to my stomach. Your girlfriend is at the hospital because her brother is like dying and you're sleeping at, you're sleeping at another girl's house? That is so bad. That is horrendous. Not, nah, don't cuddle with the calf, please don't. Please, please, don't, don't. Okay, but honestly, like, the need for, like, physical comfort and, like, physical affection, like, is so real. Like, work. Like, I get that. Please. Please. Guys, please. Please. I, like, don't want to be haunted. No! I do not want to be haunted by your dead mother. 
Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? <sighs> Not the toe. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> You had my foot in your mouth. Valid. I would also leave if someone, if I woke up to someone sucking my fucking foot, I would literally leave. I completely agree. But oh my god. Ew. Imagine how her mouth feels right now. She has like foot mouth. <gasps> her dad just like doesn't hear any of this. Dad is a freaking rock of a sleeper he doesn't hear any of this you cannot do that alone because how do you how are you gonna know when to stop after 90 seconds i'm here always never trust never trust that it's always other spirits using the face of your loved ones i've not muted this <gasps> he looks so bad like, I mean, like, obviously. Can he even communicate to anyone? <laughs> she goes up to him, she's like, I told you so. Shouldn't have asked for 60 seconds. No, no, no! <gasps> no I'm really stoked, really stoked! Ew, uh, what a little, ah, uh, I hate demons. Ew, honestly, uh, great actors, great actors love them, but this is so vile. So he's like completely gone. Like he's done, gone, like there's no point of return. I let it go for two fucking minutes and then you sleep with my boyfriend. What the fuck is wrong with Jake, you? it wasn't like oh, that. Oh, of course you're gonna take her side. Of course you're gonna take her side because you're like your toes sucked. The fuck? You fucking freak. I'm saying we do it again with Riley, but we'll light the candle this time. You want him to do it again? The thing that put him in hospital. You wanna save him? Don't fucking ask me. Well, that. we have to do something, Jade. I know like what Mia did was wrong. I also can recognize that you guys all thought, Jade included, during that badass montage scene, everybody was laughing. Everyone was ha ha Everyone ha was having a fun time. You all thought it was like kiki fun fun. And now one person's like, okay, like let's let him try. Now I'm the bad, now I'm the bad. You want me to be the bad guy when everybody in this fucking room was participating in it? I mean, yeah, but like, I mean, like I get it, but like, I mean, guys, I'm really trying to somehow get justice for our main protagonist. I'm really trying to spin the narrative that like what she did was like somehow okay. I think it's fine. I think it was inevitable that it was gonna happen. And it already happened. And I think the main villain is the dead mom. Yeah. <laughs> Conclusion is it's not Mia's fault. It is her dead mother's fault. They're looking at her like she's a bad guy and I just like cannot. Like you are supposed to be the experts. The two the two people that like handed out the hand like it was drugs should have been the experts on it to know what was okay and what was not. And if she was really going over 90 seconds, you wouldn't have let him do that, right? Like if that was such a like permanent like that was such a primal part of the rules, you would ignore whoever she, who's talking to, right? You would have ignored Mia talking to Riley and just pulled the hand off. That's what I would have done. Like, I don't care if you're talking to your mom. I'm taking it off. I think it's everyone's fault. And it's also Daniel's fault for some reason. Da it's Daniel's fault. I don't know why, but it should be. So his soul is just being tortured in the afterlife as well? Oh my God. Oh my God, pause. I am so dumb. You know what? You would think that after all this time that I would finally catch on to these things. Of course, he is the kangaroo that we saw earlier on the video. You think after all these movies I would catch on, at least in horror movies that I would catch on to analogies and foreshadowing a lot better. 
Uh, I'm so dumb. Of course we're going to end this movie with Mia having to put Riley out of his misery the way that she couldn't to the kangaroo earlier on within one of the first scenes of the movie. Of course. Of course. Oh my God, guys. I'm dumb. I should have caught that on so much sooner. Why am I dumb? I'm literally dumb. The girl who's scared of everything, more like the girl... The dumb girl who's scared of everything. Come on, use your brain, use your brain. This is, this is, it should just like fold itself out for me and I'm still having hard times figuring out plots. I, I gotta get back on my, like, on my game. Something I've been scared to show you, which is, which is wrong of me because it's, it's just as much as yours as it is mine. It's the other hand. Can I read it to you? Oh, I thought it was gonna be the other hand. He was like, oh, I found this like new hand. And if you do both of them at the same time, something really crazy happens. She's gonna kill her dad. Are you kidding me? He needs to die. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I know everything. Oh my God, imagine how fucking again. Oh my God, she's gonna stab the wrong person. I know it. I know she's gonna stab it and it's not gonna be, it's gonna be her real dad. I knew it. And in his last moments, he felt the same way when he found his wife. I'm sick. That makes me so sad. Like the last thing that he was doing was feeling the exact same way that he felt when he found her mom in the bathroom. And then he fucking dies. I knew she was gonna have at least two kills within this movie. At least two kills she was gonna have to do herself. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh my god. How did she get out of the hospital with him? Like, was no one paying attention? No way. No way. Come on. Come on, this mom. <laughs> and I know it's literally not her mom. It's literally not her mom, but I'm like, oh, this mom. Like, she keeps, like, telling her daughter to, like, kill people. So was she pushed or was Riley pushed? Her or Riley? Her or Riley? Like, she's obviously there, but, like, where's Riley? I think she looks just like the kangaroo. Is she dead? Oh my god, she died on the side of the road. Okay. Two. She died. Oh my god, no. That's a fucking cool shot. That's the most amazing shot I've ever seen. Ever. And now she can only talk to people through the fucking hand. Oh my god. And now she finally feels what it's like to be the spirit. I'll let you in. <laughs> Guys! What am I supposed to say? Like, I feel it all in my like chest. Like a similar feeling to being scared is also how indigestion feels. Um, first off, I very much liked that movie. As disturbing as it was to me, I actually really liked it, which is like a lot because a lot of the times it can go either way for me. It can go, it's so scared I hated it to it's so scary I liked it. I thought this was a brilliant take on conjuring spirits within horror movies. I think we've seen it a lot. We've seen a lot done with it. We've seen a lot of it through the lens of reality. And I think that is great within horror, but I think through this movie, getting to see a like deep dive onto the other side was very interesting. And I think that they did an amazing job at 
switching point of views, which I think can be very, very difficult within movies to show different point of views, especially when dealing with different worldly dimensions. I think that these were very complicated roles to play. I think just the possession scenes alone were very complicated and they all did an amazing job. Obviously, our main actress, incredible. If horror movies got nominated for Oscars, like I would want her to get nominated. The girl who's scared of everything was in fact scared of this. I have a big old like tightness within my chest right here because I was scared. I am scared. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts on talk to me in the comment section down below. I'm dying to know what you guys think about it because this is like one of the most talked about movies of the summer. I feel like everyone's been talking about talk to me like uh, aside from like, you know, Barbie and Oppenheimer and all the like these big big studio movies and stuff like that like this movie like everyone seems to be talking about it and i am so excited that i got to watch it and i really want to know your thoughts if you liked it if you didn't like it if you have thoughts or theories about everything that went on i would love to know that's one of my favorite things to do is read comments about your theories about different parts of the movie and your interpretation of it it really is one of my favorite things to read because i love also i love talking about my interpretation so i love reading y'all's and like I said, with the new A24 series, if you guys have any other A24 movies that you're dying to see me watch or comment on or review, leave that in the comment section down below. And make sure you guys don't miss out on anything by subscribing and turning on my notifications so you're notified every single time I post a video because sometimes I don't pop up in people's subscription box. Um, so just turn on the notifications bell so you're notified and you are here within the first hour of every upload because I do reply and heart comments within the first hour. That wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.